Boy, we getting them orders out the door. So is. This guy bought so many, he needed a box. But yeah, go visit coolcarskj.com, man, to get your shirt for the giveaway. $100 a piece, they're going fast. Wanna say 75 shirts left out of 130, man, so they're going fast. What to do what to do we in this thing man and it is a glorious day y'all see behind me right here that is the 40 foot low trail flatbed i just got done adding me a winch plate something i needed something i can't really believe wasn't on this trailer when i got it this trailer is specked out with damn near every option you can have air brakes i mean airbags Electric over hydraulic disc brakes, but it didn't have a winch plate. It's got a chain, uh, chain rack storage, toolbox, toolboxes on all the sides. And it's like, damn, how does it now have a winch plate? So I brought it over here to WWF in Athens, Georgia, man. These are some top notch welders, man. And they got me one put on there. And I even added this thing like the Diamond C had. I went and bought this receiver and they cut a hole out so they can fit it in there. So if I ever have to run a shackle out to the back, I'll uh, put it in a snatch block, I meant. Put it in a snatch block, run it back to the shackle, and that'll double the winch. So that's why I like to have that receiver in there. They already got the holes cut to match the uh, winch plate, which is in the back of the truck, the actual uh, plate that the winch sits in. So I'm gonna get this thing home and put the winch on here in the next day or two hopefully and this thing will be ready for multiple cars man i can't wait Woo! excited man a lot of money i missed out on and a lot of doubling back because i wasn't able to haul at least two cars at a time so even though this is a freight trailer y'all know this is a freight trailer you can put cars on it so I got the Badlands Apex Synthetic Rope 12K winch at the house. So I'm gonna get that installed and uh, we're gonna turn up, man. I'm ready too. I'm ready to turn up with that bad boy. Been a long time coming. All right, that's it, man. Stick around and uh, hopefully we'll get the winch installed at some point. Peace. The next morning. All right, what to do, man? It's the next morning. We out here finna get this winch installed. This is going to be a fairly simple process. be my second time doing it. Um, I went to Lowe's and got the longer bolts that it uh, requires to go through the plate, the uh, winch mount, and then into the winch. So should be fairly straightforward. Can't wait to get this done because you always got to have a winch on your equipment, man. You never know when you will need it. I hate to be pulling two cars somewhere and then... Uh, you know, maybe drop those off and find one that's going on the way back home and can't get it because you don't have no winch. So, like I said, this trailer is specked out so well, I just can't believe they didn't put a winch on it. So we're going to remedy that problem right now. I'm going to put it in time lapse and get this done fairly quickly. So I'll be ready to rock and roll after that. Stick around. have not run the wires yet i attached the black wire and the red was already attached i'm gonna see if it'll work it should work with this uh top down right here man let's give it a shot let's see what it does red on red 
got it going on so i'm gonna uh mount a battery there's a few ways i can go with this i'm not exactly sure what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna do like the other trailer and put a battery in here and put the anderson connects on it go ahead and some point run the wire from the battery to you know right up in here and then just like the other trailer we could plug in i think that's what i'm gonna do uh this trailer actually already has its own battery for the air compressor but I ain't trying to run no wires from there all the way back. Unless there's a way to tap in somewhere. I'm not sure. Um, but give me a little while and I'll figure it out. So you got all these wires coming from in here. They come from the back and then they go up. And this trailer actually charges through the trailer plug. So this one's done right. I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do as far as the winch battery. And I could tie the Anderson plug in to the winch and not even use no battery, but I like to have a extra battery. I, I like it to have its own battery for, uh, it just makes me feel better. That's gonna be uh, very, very nice. I'm out here doing a little inventory to see what I can put in which toolbox. This toolbox had the uh, winder thing for these and the uh, edge protectors, all of these were in there and they hardly got out of there. So now that they fixed this door, I can put stuff in this side. It was this box of bolts here that I ain't even sure what the hell they go to. Now, I, they don't go to this, I think they go to something else. Uh, so I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna start putting some stuff in this toolbox. And man, we're gonna be ready to rock and roll. So I'm just trying to plan out right now. I like to have all my stuff where it's easy to get to get rid of the trash get rid of stuff i don't need and that'll be fine and uh i'm gonna tell y'all a funny story about this over here i ordered some of these these are oh damn i ain't even open let me show y'all what these are these go here so when these ramps are up they go here to hold the ramps up if you got something that's got to hang off the you know in this area right here funny story about these is i bought this three times no, 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 I bought this and they sent three different packages. What kept happening was they wasn't wrapping them right and they basically took a flat box and put it flat and they would fall out. They would vibrate, move when, when they're transporting it and they would fall out. So I ended up getting two completely empty boxes, man. No lie. Two empty boxes. I think I got a video of it. Actually, this was a long time ago. You know, this trailer been in the shop a long time. I want to say I got a video one day when I opened the box. I was mad as hell. I've ordered metal rods from Load Trail. The first box sold up flat and empty. The second box sold up flat and empty. The third box actually looks like a box, but it's got a hole in it with some clear tape. And I know damn well ain't nothing in this box. It's supposed to weigh 13 pounds. think that weigh 13 pounds come on ups lord have mercy they did it the first time they sent another one and the same thing happened empty box and then finally somebody wrapped them up much much better and they made it so i'm gonna open these up and uh let's see if we can show them to y'all hopefully Stand by, let me get this off and be right back. Good thing about working for yourself, man. Sometimes you be home when the beautiful kids come home. What's up, baby girl? What's up, baby? What's up? Hey. Hello. <laughs> What's up, you too? <laughs> How y'all doing? Good. Y'all had a good day at school? Yeah. I missed y'all. I missed you too. Bria, you got a nice outfit on. Thank you. All right, there. Hi. What's up, King Bray? Not so much. I'm out here. Look, y'all see the winds up there? Yeah. Trying to get it done, man. Finally using oh. these. Remember they sent the box, empty box came twice? Yeah. Trying to take these out, see how they work. Mm-hmm. Look at her. What are you doing? 
Get this off, man, and we're gonna see. I thought it had holes in it where you can use it both ways, whether you're using it or not. Um, but it looks like it may only have one set of holes. If that's the case, then that means I gotta store it somewhere. Hey, you having fun? Yes. Yeah. Boy, they wrapped it up this time, boy. Cause they literally, they dropped the ball. All right. So, yes, yeah, so it looks like you only use it. Looks like you only use it when they're up. So I thought might have had more holes in it where you could uh, mount it. You know what I'm saying? I guess it could drill a hole, and that way you can mount it, uh, whether you're using it or not, whether it ramps up. But I guess they're meant to store. So uh, I'm gonna grind down these edges and stuff, because that's kind of dangerous. But uh, yeah, we're meant to store those. And now I can haul something. Like I said, what you need those for is if you got something that needs to come all the way back here. Let's say a car or something. If it's sitting right here, then you know you're not gonna be able to use the damn ramp because the car sitting on top of it so you lift these up and whatever you're driving can hang from here to here and these ramps will be standing straight up so trying to get it in order man that's that's what we're doing uh i'm not sure what else i'm gonna do today clean up my mess and do my inventory and figure out what i'm gonna do with a battery i think i got a battery laying around here somewhere uh, that i ain't using so we'll put that in there. I need to buy a battery box. They're like $15 at the local store. I need to go grab one of those. But uh, we're moving in the right direction. That's the main thing. Look, man, I'm laughing because I figure out how these things go. I was actually over here just like eyeballing it and see if I could drill two holes. And then I realized that they go right there. Let me set the camera up and I'll show y'all. So... You slide it in here. You put it on like this. And you put the thing on. There we go. Figured that one out. That's pretty dope. I was over there putting some stuff in the toolbox. I was like, man, I don't want to take up space in my toolbox with this junk. So I was able to figure that bad boy out. Slide that on. There we go. I actually fixed this before I took it to the shop. Um, one of these was missing. It was missing a piece on each side. I think this piece was missing on this side. And then the uh, latch piece was missing on one side. So I bought an assembly and now it's good. You see a lot of people put straps over that. But shoot, man, I ain't trying to do that. I'd rather just have a little pistol grip, pull it up, pull it up like that. So, when you're done with it, put it back down. It also takes some uh, trial and error, too, because you got to have it just right where it has the right tension on it for you. But, uh, yeah, man, going in the right direction. Starting to put stuff up where I want it, figure out what I want in what compartment, and, uh, Boy, we're gonna be ready to rock and roll. I got to get it, man. I'm ready to get it. 2022, I'm ready, baby. So let me keep messing with this stuff, man. I'll check back in with y'all later. All right, it's been a few days, man. I about got this trailer ready to rock and roll. Uh, I added shock so the lid can open and close like normal it leaves enough room right here so your hand don't get smashed so that's good i added the uh battery side of the energizer cables so once i run the other side under the truck you now you plug in you have full power on the winch so that's good uh the interstate battery is working well got everything wired up good uh the apex is mounted got my wires running down here to the battery got them all taped off i gotta cut these little zip ties off 
Got my little stickers on there. Y'all know I love stickers. Let's see what this motorcycle is coming down here. He riding. But uh, yeah, everything turned out well, man. I'm happy with it. Winch looks good. I got space right here. I'm gonna leave the chains on each side and I'm gonna get some new binders that fit in here. They got some foldable binders uh, that I wanna try. It's like 250 for a set of four. So I'm gonna grab some of those. They'll fit in here in this chain rack. These don't. These Harbor Freight ones are too fat. They won't fit in there, so that kinda sucks. But that looks good. I like it, man. Job well done. Got my D-rings right here. That's gonna be good for when I have the car on the front. I can just come right off the wheel and go straight. So that's a job well done for that one. We're gonna move on to something else. Um, and get some get some loads on that bad boy and get it done. So that's it, man. I ain't really had much going on. It took me a few days to get the uh, shock in and I felt like I ordered something else for it, but I, I can't figure it out um, And then all I gotta do now is just figure out where I'm gonna put all the stuff um, Get the binders that I want to get because those take up a lot of room and uh, Store everything get it how I want it and be ready to rock and roll. So that's it for the trailer man. Hopefully uh, Y'all uh, enjoyed that. I'm gonna be bringing another video kind of a part two video to the shop that charged me all the money for this thing. I want to show y'all how much they charge for some of those parts compared to what you can get it for offline or any other trailer vendor. A lot of that stuff was over double. So I don't know. I hope to bring that to y'all soon. Uh, that's kind of something I got in my head for down the line, maybe a few videos down the line. I got to compile all the um websites and all the parts and put it all in the video so we'll see but uh that's it man for now until then we're gonna holler y'all later on next time peace